In this video, we're going to look at how to create a new app script file. Before we can create a file, though, we actually have to decide what type of app script we need. There are two types. There are bound scripts and there are standalone scripts. Bound scripts are bound to a Google application. They're directly tied to it. So that means we need an application or a, a file first. So you can, that can be a Google spreadsheet, that can be a Google document, slides, forms, um, whatever Google application supports app script. So it's just directly connected to that. A standalone is exactly what it sounds like. It is not tied to another application. However, the standalone scripts have more restrictions, such as you can't use simple triggers. For example, I have a spreadsheet here. If we have a bound script, we can use on edit triggers. So if I change the value in a cell, it will trigger a script automatically. That's something that can't be done with a standalone, but is possible with a bound script. So how do we create these? Well, in our spreadsheet here, we go to Tools, Script Editor, and there you go, it's that simple. Now, we actually need to give it a title and save it, uh, but this is ready to go. It even gives us a default function that we can use called My Function, and we can write scripts in here. Or you can copy and paste your own functions or write your own functions right here. So this is an example of a bound script. Now, if we want to create a standalone script, we have a few options. We actually have three options to create a standalone script. The first option is to open a new tab and type in script.new, and that will open a new script for us. The second option is to go to script.google.com, and that will take us to the app script dashboard where we can click on new project. We can also look at all of our scripts or search all of our current scripts. So this will show us our bound scripts and our standalone. If it's bound, you'll see the application's symbol. If it's a standalone, you'll just see the app script logo here. The last way you can create a standalone app script is by going to your Google Drive, selecting New, More, Connect More Apps, typing in you just type in app script, select Google app script and click on install. I've already installed it, so I don't have that option, but if I go to new now, once it's installed, you can go new more and click on Google app script from this drop down menu. And that will create a new app script in your Google drive. I don't recommend that method uh, because I'm, it actually uses storage space in your drive. Whereas if it is just in your dashboard, it won't, I do not believe, could be wrong here, uh, that it does not use any storage space. So if someone wants to figure that out for me, go for it. Uh, anyway, that is how you create a new app script file. And then you will be well on your way to creating your own scripts. Have a good day.